Love. Love Line is meant for an adult audience. For an adult audience. Love Line may contain sexually oriented content. With sexually oriented content. Listener discretion is advised. Listener discretion is advised. This is Love Line. Love Line. Love Line. Love Line. With Adam Carolla and Dr. Drew. Hey, everybody. It's Love Line. I'm Adam. That's Dr. Drew. Phone number 1 800 LOVE 191. Dr. Drew, board certified physician, addiction medicine specialist. And tonight our guest is Marsha Thomason. Marsha is uh, from Las Vegas. Not from Las Vegas, but it's on <laughs> Las Vegas. Las yeah, Vegas. when she starts talking, you'll realize she's not from Las Definitely Vegas. Definitely not from Las Vegas. She's from Ohio. <laughs> I can tell. Lena, pull the mic uh, toward you there, Marsha. Thank you. How's that? No. Right in there. Right. Put it right. Yeah. Like right. Wow. Yeah. Like this. That's, That's very how we intrusive. like it. Good Lord. Yeah. Now, Marsha is from uh, Manchester, England. and uh, What? They said Ohio. Kentucky. I, Kentucky. No, Kentucky. no. I, I read it here. I wouldn't have guessed it. I no. didn't know that. But uh, born and uh, bred in uh, Manchester. Went out with a girl from Hounslow once. I did not. I did. Oh. See, they all have a great <laughs> sense of humor. They all have that same sense of humor. I'm telling you. It's good. That's why she dated you. It's like, yeah. Oh, they all, hey, no, no, Marcia? No, no. Yeah. All right. Now, now you, you live, you split your time between England and here now, right? No, I live here. You're here full time? Yes. Okay. Yes. Oh, shouldn't have read that. Scratch that off. Scratch that <laughs> off. Okay. Good. And uh, you work with our uh, dear, dear friend, uh, Nikki Cox. Yes, I do. And uh, Josh Demel, Molly Sims, dear, dear friend, and uh, James Kahn, dear, dear friend, even though I've never met him, mm. <laughs> on uh, on uh, Vegas. And uh, what, what are we in? Season three? Two. Really? Yeah. That's it? Yeah, sorry. It seems like... It's been was around it a, a while, but... Was it did it replace something mid season? Is it like two and a half or no, something? No, no. It's, it's I think one there was a half year. It's build one in six episodes, is what it is. Is that what it is? And we didn't replace anything. We were just there on our own. Yeah, it just it, it feels like a perennial. It feels like uh, some some all star that's been in the league for uh, many years. Well, that's nice. Marcia uh, also was uh, in the haunted mansion uh, opposite uh, Eddie Murphy, which uh, I didn't see, but I swore I was going to draw. Did you got I kids? Saw it. Of you course, see? of course. You remember Marcia? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You do? Yeah. You want to say something nice? It's a good film. I, yeah. I, I, well, that's just say about something the fact nice that about I had Marcia. a really brilliant American accent. I was just thinking about that. I was thinking, yeah, I wonder if you do other it. accents too. You know, you, absolutely no way you could tell that she had a British accent. Really? No way. It, w I, in fact, I was, as you, as you know, the bubble over my head, what thought bubble was, how did she do that? How do you, I'm how do you, really, really good. You know <laughs> what I mean? How, you know, how do you make your act? you got to be good. But how did you know? But you didn't know when you were watching it that she was a no, British no actress. No, no idea. No way. What do you think's harder, going British well, or going from British to Yank? I can't imagine how you go Yank. How do you even do that? Well, like, um, my girlfriend used to say things like, water. Right. You know, it's, it like always that. sounds so exaggerated, it sounds like they're making fun of it. Yeah. I think she was. Mm. How do you do it? Can love you give it, us a little? It. Absolutely not. No. Under pressure, I'm just rubbish. All right. Well... Oh, yeah, you know, give me a whole good. film crew, Eddie Murphy and, you know, cameras and stuff, and I'm fine, but well, you, you guys, it's too All right, pressure. well, we won't look at you, but if you want to <laughs> pop in and out of it <laughs> All right. throughout the night. Okay. Let me say something that I, I don't know if they have this problem in Manchester or not, but I was driving in tonight. You know uh, how I'm uh, going insane in general about uh, all the graffiti everywhere? Yes. Because when I was growing up, there would be graffiti on places where there should be graffiti. Right. Such walls as of old buildings. Walls and of old buildings yeah. and alleys and things yes. like that. I'm now seeing them on curbs oh, and every, trees every, and rocks. and Trees. Every, every uh, really, flat I really have. Not even flat. seeing them on turtles. Yeah. <laughs> I, it, 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 wildlife. It's rocks. Things that think, if it doesn't move, it's going to get painted. You, you understand that they now, like uh, up in the hills where they have some of these big boulders and some of oh, these absolutely. areas where like there are these lookout off of Mulholland or whatever, they actually... Is a crew that has to paint the rocks yeah. because uh, people have uh, written on them. Yeah, and you know where else? They're writing on all the freeway signs. Yeah, every freeway sign. And so either you, so what you have is either the uh, tagged freeway signs or you have the uh, razor wire. Yeah, the uh, spools of razor wire going around it. And as you drive down the freeway and you see the razor wire uh, draping off of the freeway sign, it just makes you think. Uh, you think of those apocalypse. 
apocalyptic movies. Yeah. It's like Escape from New York kind yeah. of movies. Like, yeah. this is the future. Yeah, we're there's, there. Somehow there's razor wire uh, hang off everything. And I thought, uh, what a, it's, just, it's sort of a minor bummer just when you drive around, just makes you think unhappy thoughts when you see... Uh, when you see barbed wire hanging from freeway signs and stuff, yeah. makes the place look like a sort of concrete jungle kind mm -hmm. of thing. And uh, I thought, uh, you know, in, and I don't know if they have that in Manchester or not. I'm sure they have. Uh, I'm sure they have graffiti. Oh but yeah, they have graffiti. They, they have to put razor on on freeway signs. No, we don't do that. Yeah, it's weird. I'm, I'm even... sure we will be in about five years. Oh, Anything okay. You do, well, you guys are way to, behind. You know, yeah. yeah right. And I don't even know how they get to it. And by the way, how come no one ever seems to spot them? Um, you never hear any of those PSAs uh, talking about this, by the way. Uh, CHP makes a uh, announcement every few weeks about cracking down on speeders. Yeah. They never say anything about uh, people. They, they uh, have. I've seen that. Yeah, you have. TV. Yeah, yeah. You've seen them. What yeah. do they say? Just, you know, the, the, I forget the, the sort of theme, but it's uh, at least doesn't, you know, you, you got to you got to no, so. you got to parrot where they go. O Officer Bird wants yeah. you to put down the spray can, yeah. but they never do anything. No, no. You, and how many of those PSAs you, you saw one when you were nine? No, right. You don't see them well, anymore. It seemed like they had a campaign about it about ten years ago. Oh, well, went, oh ten hell. years ago. You know what I mean? This is when I forget. I, I'm just saying they got cameras at every goddamn yeah. intersection. How about how about focusing on this just a little bit? Yeah. Can't stop guys from crawling up. They, they're well lit signs. They're in the middle of the freeway. <laughs> yeah. There's a guy standing there with a spray can. He's not a Caltrans worker. Yeah. And by the way, they're not. It's not like they're just putting a big question mark. They're, no. they're works of art. No. They're like huge. I'm um, kind of landscapes. fond of graffiti artists. I'm sorry, my yeah, bad. I know. I'm it, kind of fond of the rebel. It seems. Yeah, but here's the thing. I don't. I don't mind the movie version of the graffiti artist because <laughs> the guy's actually an artist. What we have is just just scrawlings on these on curbs on rocks. It's just all over the here's, place. Here's right. where it gets me. I, I have. I, my office is in a small office building with four other offices. Yes. You know. And in the elevator, one floor elevator to the parking lot, somebody took and put their initials in a dark, you know, ir non erasable pen on the, on the side of the uh, right. elevator wall. My thinking is, what? What did that do? No, oh, what's well, the true. You but, can't, don't use logic. But you know what I mean? The impulse is becoming so pervasive now. It's like, no, whatever I see in empty space, I must put a couple of letters. It, it is on stop signs, but, but, on but, street I, signs, but, on fire hydrants. Understood where people are going to see it, where it is like a sign, that's understandable. But the impulse now includes everything. You know what? Every, I've, always, I've always yes. thought it was like wolves or dogs like leaving their mark. Oh, absolutely. That's the it's same. So that's primal. the same impulse. Right. It, it's a very... All I'm saying, let, let's start let's some... Let's start let, paying on things. No, let's start caning. Caning. Let's start caning. That's a good idea. Cane, a nice ass whooping with yeah. a cane. I yeah. got no problem with it. There's no graffiti in Singapore. No, no. Yeah. You get a nice caning. Yeah. Nothing wrong with a good caning. And then a little buggering. Well, I'd say Russia. ass and buggering. Yeah, well, okay. see, we don't know. I what, feel very we at home. We right don't know what buggering kid. is. What is yeah. buggering? <laughs> I know what buggering is. <laughs> is and I think they know what buggering no, is. No, I don't know what it is. Are you kidding me right now? I am not kidding you. Help me. Um,. Well, it's it's like what it's like humping in England, except for I I think and stop me if I'm wrong. Um, stop. Like, I could I could give you a good buggering, right? But it'd be better. It'd be it'd be more applicable if, if we were in. If you two gave each other a buggering, well, yeah, it's a gay, it's a gay it's thing. So yeah. It with anal yeah. sex. Yeah, because it, that includes the the rear. I could the, give the, you a buggering. Right, and, and I'm not sure. Could I give Marsha a buggering? Yeah, but it's not the same thing. But All right, no, but I'd I take, asking, it, I'd take allow, it like any allow? port in a storm, you know. Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> so a buggering is, is like well, She doesn't what? say buggering. She say, how do you say it? Buggering. 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 But I'm from the north of England, remember. People right. in London say buggering. They say buggering. Thank okay. you. All I right. say buggering. Buggering is what, like, <laughs> lads at the, at the, in the English schools, like grade yes, nine, yes, would do to each yes. other. Yes. See what I'm saying? Yes. Okay. But the, but I'm sure there's a lot of it going on. It, you went it, to a prep school. The program doesn't include the mouth. It includes the no. Yeah. 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 You got it. Got it. Thank but you. but but here's a here's a question. Is it is it all uh, butt love? That's I what mean, it's, it's what she said. Yeah. It's all about the butt love. It's all about the butt love. Okay. Yeah. Which, if you do it in a different cadence, it's all about the butt, love. <laughs> you, you know what I mean? It would work, but it would work too. All right, uh, Las Vegas, everyone. NBC, nine o'clock Monday nights. We'll uh, get to the phones. A little caning, no big deal. I'm with you. Hey, listen. Absolutely. And by the way, here's your, here's how we sell it. It's a safety thing. It's four in the morning. Your kids Can't crawling around over the freeway. You know what yeah. I mean? Literally yeah. hanging on the freeway. It's gonna fall, go through someone's windshield. By the way, digging through the razor wire. Yeah. A little caning. Or a, or a good boogering. Or a good boogering. Hey, not to Christy. break in again, guys, but I am. Yeah. 
Remember that yeah. guy Chaka? Do you remember Chaka from yes. back in the day? Chaka yes. was like one of the first ones, and he was everywhere. Yeah. And it's like legend now that that guy, he's out, but he's not allowed to have like a ballpoint pen. He's not allowed to have any kind of writing instrument at all. Well, if you remember, he went to court, and then as he's walking out of the courtroom, tagged a bunch of things. <laughs> he couldn't help stuff. himself. He was Chaka. Oh, crazy stuff. Yeah. We went busted a kid for uh, for uh, tagging our garage once. Oh, really? Yeah, it's like a it was like a bad movie for this poor kid. We walked down aside. We we're living in North Hollywood. We walked down our garage. Said Egbert on the back of our garage and huge Egbert, Egbert in huge <laughs> That's letters. Rubbish. Egbert is a booger. In huge letters said Egbert. Yeah. And uh, so uh, we were outraged. We we're like, oh, who did this? So we knew hooligans throughout the city. I know, but we, yeah, okay. Well, we're gonna get to that. <laughs> so you, so we Huggy, jumped, you and Huggy Bear got out in the street. We, we all, all my friends, we jumped in our car and we went to this one guy's house. who was like this kind of quasi gangbanger guy, sort of knew everything. And while we we're going to his house, we saw him driving away. So we followed him for like four or five miles. Eventually, my friend uh, Snake yelled at him, and he got scared and he pulled over. And we 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 grabbed him, and they said, "Who's Egbert?" And he said, uh, this guy named Greg Besner. And I said, <laughs> Greg Besner? I know his brother, Stuart Besner. And they said, I know where he lives. We went over to the dude's house. How did he know? I know it's North Hollywood. It's not big. Uh, Knocked on the guy's door. His mom answered. Uh, said, uh, what's up? Said, I think your son did some graffiti. He said, oh, he's in the shower. And then the dad said, yeah, I'm missing some cans of paint from the whatever. Oh. I sat out in the living room. <laughs> oh my God. This was the f following morning. He went out and did the tagging Saturday night. This is Sunday morning. Wow. It, they're like, Greg, get in here. He comes out. He's like drying his head off with a towel. Yeah, Mom. He's just standing there. There's a bunch of strangers in his <laughs> living room. And, and her mom goes, did you tag on this guy's garage last night? And he goes, uh, uh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> and, and they started yelling at him. And uh, that was it. But I thought to the guy, like, this guy, what crazy justice he must have thought. Like, w one night, he's out. He's out the but, night but, before tagging a random alleyway <laughs> five miles away from his house. The following day, there's a bunch of people sitting in his living room. But that scene, for me, highlights the thinking that people have in our culture about the normalcy of deviance. It's like, he's a normal kid. He's a normal guy. I yeah. sat in his living room. His mom just, you know, that's a normal, normal family. The guy is an a-hole. Yeah. Might, this, they say, this is why the, why the neighbors describe the murderer next door as a great guy. Yeah. Because they really don't, people are not, don't assess one another. They don't know how to do well, that. Well, it wasn't a gang or anything. I knew his older brother, he's and uh, he, he, he painted the whole alley. No, he's not a gang now. I mean, he's a mess now. No, mess. we intervened, and, and we nipped him in the bud. No, he's got to be. Oh, guy. please. I've done worse than what he did. It's just like it what? wasn't right. Oh, get into that. Like what? Boogering? I, I, boogering? <laughs> a little boogering. All right, come on, Drew. Let's go. Let's right, focus. Break it down. Let's go do on. the show. Let's break it down. Marsh, clap your hands now. Let's go. There we go. All right. All right. She never go. played football, so she wouldn't Yes, well, they play... American football. Yeah. No, I don't play American football. I play soccer. Let me tell you something about uh, soccer. You must choke on that word. S soccer. soccer. Oh, yeah. yeah, I don't say You that. don't like yeah. it. We call it football. Football, football over uh, across the pond there is fine, except for in American football, we get fired up. You, you know what I mean? The, the we get guys, they get in a circle, they start going, yeah, they start yelling at each other, they start smacking Smack each other in the head, they bang each other in the head, and they start screaming about their house, and no one comes into our house, and you know, that kind of stuff, and they go nuts, they get themselves worked up into a Frenzy. fever pitch, yeah. and, and then lose, oftentimes, but they get completely worked up, and you guys, you don't have to break it down, you know, they get a hand in, let's go now, let's get fired up, come on now. Let's go, Marcia! <laughs> I think they do. I think they just do it in the privacy of their own dressing room. Oh, no. Maybe no. we're just not as ostentatious. Well. And what's with the clothes, anyway? America. I don't which, which, clothes? Clothes? which clothes? The headgear, the pads, the butt oh, pads, the oh, everything. I see. No I wonder see. they're all running at each other because they're so protected. Well, the butt pads are for the boogering. <laughs> they avoid it. They avoid it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, yeah. Christy? Yes? Yeah. You're 16? Mm hmm. Hey, what's up? I want to start off I'm. I started reading your guys' book that you made a couple of years ago. It's really funny. <laughs> a lot of good yeah. information, too. All right. Thanks, yeah. baby doll. Yeah, well, all my friends think it's really funny, too. But, um, good. yeah, so um, on Monday, I was having sex with my boyfriend. And um, I guess, yeah, the condom broke towards the beginning. Uh -huh. He didn't, like, have time to, like, come or anything. He was? So, yeah, it broke. and then like He didn't have time. Yeah. Yeah, it was before he could do that. It was about 15, we noticed that it was broken about 15 seconds after it happened. Okay. Yeah. So, I don't know, like, is that, could that endanger me getting pregnant or not? Well, he, he didn't ejaculate, right? No. And how long had you been having sex before it broke? Excuse me? How long were you, had you been having sex before it broke? Um, 15 seconds. About five minutes. 
Yeah. And it was 15 seconds after it broke, they noticed it. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For the well, first hold on. Time. How do you know? <laughs> I know. Drew picked something up for the first time, but wait a second. How do you notice something 15 seconds after it happens if you didn't notice it when it happened? <laughs> How do you know when it, it happens? You just, it just feels different. They feel sick. Like, hey, I know, but pulls it out. And, oh, I no, see. But that, that would be immediate. Yeah, yeah. Interesting I mean, point. maybe it's like getting a flat tire for the first right. you're going, What's eighth of a mile. You think you're running on rough road. Yeah. 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 All right, anyway. All right. Um, Christy? Christy? Yeah. Yeah. The reality is you're probably okay, but as you know, there are emissions that can uh, come out before mm -hmm. ejaculation. So if you want to be completely safe, you want to take that morning after pill that emerges. Oh, uh, it's too late, though. It's been almost, it's been over three days now. Well, it's, yeah. tonight it's three. It was a Monday, oh, right? Oh, that's right. Monday, She's not going to get Tuesday. pregnant. But you can you're actually fine. take that up to five days. You're, you're supposed to take it within three for it to be optimally effective, but you can take it up to five. So, Marsha, they have that in England, that morning after pill? Happen, they do. They do. Yes, they do. Yeah. Now, not the abortion pill, the morning after pill. Different. Right. Right. Okay. They have it over the counter. Oh, shocking. Yeah. They have wow. it over the counter. Mm -hmm. In England. Wish I'd known that. They do. Yeah. They're just more evolved over there. Mm -hmm. I think they tend to do what makes sense. Mm-hmm. Well, we're here like a like a native tribe. We got a lot of superstitions and stuff. They just sort of do. They just sort of read a book, and look at some data, and then do what makes sense. Right. We have That's, to. We have to stand by. Historical. I don't know ideas, what we have to stand about. No, here's, here's the problem with this country. Here's why you should have never moved here, Marcia. <laughs> there's, there's a handful of a hole loudmouths that sort of run it. You know, it's really the ninety percent of the country sort of decent, trying to get through their just lives. trying to get through their lives. And then there's that there's the letter writers uh, who uh, write letters and, and the complain, sewers, people that sue. and they, they bring lawsuits. And so the country's basically they're the sand that gets dumped into our gears. We have uh, this uh, a, a magical labyrinth of gears. Everything works fine. It's just a teaspoon of that sand, and everything starts getting clogged up and not running well. Mm -hmm. And then everyone. And by the way, then we all fall under suspicion. Oh, we're, it's like it's like the airport. Man, we all got to get strip search. Hey, old lady, take your shoes off. You know, a couple of a-holes, boom, stops everything, right? Yeah. Oh, white. Oh, caning. Yeah. Got to start yeah. the caning. Yeah, we really do. Start caning people who write bad letters. Yeah. Caning taggers. Caning mm. uh, guys that don't turn right on the uh, red when it's oh, clear. Yeah. Light just caning. caning. Light caning. Just a caning. Why don't you just get your own cane and start whacking people? Okay. Right. Okay. All right. You've, you're going first, though, Drew. Right. I get a cane. That's <laughs> something I love about America, by the way, that hmm. you can turn right on a red yeah. as long as it's clear. Yeah, it's too bad. We don't do that in England. I mean, we'd have to do the left, what with us driving on the wrong side of the road. And right. But Correct. I love that. I do, too, and it's God too bad. God bless America. Too bad. Uh, Not all America does that. Too bad only 20% oh, really? yeah. of the population that's, that's knows a, that. That's a state-by-state state law. Oh, I didn't know that. Mm. Yeah. I, I, Most of it have adopted it, but I think Massachusetts still does it. No, there's plenty. Oh. New York yeah. doesn't, doesn't yeah. have it. They don't? No. Wow. Yeah, which is great for us because it's nothing but people from other states who are, you're driving behind who are here <laughs> on vacation, of course, are adhering to the rules of whatever the state they've been driving in for the last 40 years. What, what about a little ad campaign for that, too, huh? Yeah. A little something? I think, and Marcia hasn't gotten the idea. She hasn't really been exposed to how different state-by-state state mores, attitudes, laws are. Yeah. Like we don't. Very, each state's very different. We're, we're we're wacky over here. Like you know, Hawaii, you can uh, have sex with a nine-year-old. <laughs> yeah. In uh, no state taxes in Nevada. In in in, 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 in Vermont, they have to be in their forties before right. they can have sex. Right. I mean, it's all the all over the place. No good That's in some so states. weird to me. So. Yeah, it's it's really ridiculous. It's, it's it's like well, horse racing's legal here, but dog racing isn't legal here. But we can play pie gal poker here, but we can't play twenty one. <laughs> but we can't bet on football. Yeah. But we can play the lottery. Oh, you want oh, oh you want to play lottery? Well, we don't have it in this state. You go to state. No, they got Indian well, games. It's bad here in this state. It's bad. Oh, it's, it's bad. bad. It's clearly bad. wrong. Bad. It's clearly wrong. Eagle. Eagle. It's, Eagle. it's Eagle. wrong bad. as the right hand turn is in uh, <laughs> New York. in New York is as wrong as uh, dog racing is is here. <laughs> like, it's stupid. And then there's the states where it's like, well, we can't gamble on land, so we'll take a uh, river boat, we'll put it on pylons, and we'll park it in the parking lot, and we'll pour a teaspoon <laughs> of water around. It. Then you can go gamble on that. <laughs> There's some water around it. What, what's wrong with this country? <laughs> you, you know, here's here's how this country works. People make retarded rules, and then people work around those rules with stupid things, and that's that's where you get the barge that's uh, moored out in the lake, so you got to go gamble on the barge. Where's yeah. that then? 
Uh, Mississippi. See, Mississippi, yeah. Uh. I got them like Kansas City, place like that. Mm. I could let me show you my United States. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, really? I could United show you right now. Really? We just travel around while I complain. He might he might try to booger you though. Light boogering every once There'll in a while. There'll be no boogering. Light boogering. Light <laughs> boogering. Just just a gas boogering. You know what I mean? Like, hey, this tank ain't filling itself, baby. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Light boogering, but mainly in education. Uh, Here's the Grand Canyon. Oh, I'll take you out to Lake Powell. We'll go to Yosemite. Show you like over. half the home. <laughs> bent over. <laughs> 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 but like 20 minutes. We've covered a lot of miles. Yeah. <laughs> a boogering tour. It'd be awesome. No, really. I'll take you to Mississippi. That's, that's boogering country, too, by the way. It is? Oh, yeah. Awesome. Mark Twain used to write books about boogering. <laughs> Famous author. I'll tell you. I don't want to spoil it. I'll, Save it. Let me show you my America. Okay. All right? Then it's off to England for some more booger. Another call. Oh, okay. One more call. All right. All right. All right. Come on. Drew. Lisa, 18. Hello? Lisa? Yes. 18. What's up? Hi. Hi. Hello. Okay. Um, a few nights ago. Were well, you lucky. Hi, Adam. Hi. What's going on? Here we go. Okay. Break it down. Yeah. Woo. So a few nights ago, um, I was at my friend's house, and mm -hmm. we were getting stoned, and we drank. Mm -hmm. And I guess, oh, I don't remember, but the guy, he told me that he took advantage of me. You don't remember? So you drank so much you blacked out? I fell asleep. Oh, you drank so much that you fell asleep. You fell asleep. You passed out. You passed out, and you were sufficiently deeply unconscious that somebody could have sex with you, and you wouldn't wake up? Um, he said he tried to have sex with me, but it wouldn't go in. But he said... Why, wh well, why do you think he told you that? Because I've known him for a really long time. Like, we right. were friends all, since, like, middle school. All the more reason why I wouldn't, wouldn't tell you. It. Yeah. And why do you think uh, you didn't wake up if you only drank a little bit? I didn't... No, I drink a lot. Yeah, you you completely you you really put alcohol Passed poison. Out, you're right? conscious. Did you throw up? No. All right. And so, uh, what's the question? So, like the, today, as I just got done peeing, and then I wiped myself. There was some weird, like, goopy, a little clunk of like goopy stuff. Yeah. And clunk like of goopy it stuff, like, yeah. Is your period coming up? Huh? Is your period coming up? Is what? Is your period All right, soon? listen. I, 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 yeah, I'm, Lisa, I, yeah. I'm just like talking to a quaalude. Yeah, it's past. Well, she she holds it uh, just half a beat long enough yes. to make you All right, what is, what's wrong with her? Is she angry? I think it's past progression. Something up? Is that what right, it is? Yeah, but or is she just stoned? Yeah, all right, here's the deal. I, a, the guy didn't do anything, so... Well, all right, here's or the, maybe here's he did. That, here's that approach. This. Right, maybe he did. Did he a, apologize at least? Well, A, find the out. alcohol consumption is a sufficient problem or concern that you really need to look at that. Yeah. If you're blacking out at 18. That If you have family history of alcoholism, I would seriously look at that. Number two, uh, you may have had sex with a guy... Got to get that morning after pill. There's a discharge now. The, now the whoa, discharge you're describing. Whoa, whoa. Hang on. Why would he bring it up? I, I don't Why know. Why would he bring I, it up? I don't know. Uh, but the, the fact is, though, she has a funny discharge, although the way you're the discharge you're describing is not one that is typically uh, that of an infection. I, Usually they're either yellow or malodorous nah, or, yeah. or thin, milky discharge that we Jeez. work with. All right, hold on. Lisa. Yes. I need you to pick up the pace here. Can you do that? Yes. Okay, here we go. Were you ever victimized, abused growing up? Yes. Okay. All right, that's what I'm hearing. Yeah. And what, sexual abuse? No. Physical abuse? Yes. You uh, got a caning and a light uh, boogering? Basically. All right, who physically abused you? Your dad? No. Mom? Huh? Yes, Mom? sir. Mom beat you. Your mom beat you. All right. All right. That's, and why, that's why we're not getting that horrible hostility that we're used to. We're just, just this getting is kind there's of, something angry yeah, something, about right. her, something off about her. Right. Okay. All right, well, so. The deal is you've been victimized. You free, probably have freeze response when people threaten you. Uh, and God knows when you're intoxicated, that makes that all even worse. Yeah, and this guy is not your friend. Okay. But you need to, you need to go to Planned Parenthood or see a doctor just to make sure. Yeah, I just something. wanted to know, like, if I could be, if he, like, comes in me and... No. That's I, not what you found, no. I, I, don't, I don't think so, because he wouldn't have said anything to you, I don't think. But believe. he may have been in you, and that'd be enough to I don't think he was. And enough to make you pregnant. Why would he bring it up? All right, anyway, this guy's a borderline criminal, Lisa. You don't need to be hanging out with him, all right? Mm -hmm. 
and, little therapy and, for the yeah, uh, you beating your mom help. gave That's you. That's what I'm saying. So if she gets involved issues. with the, the system, let the, them look at her and maybe refer her. So. I love guys. You know, guys see chicks uh, passed out in this country, and it's like a, a bear just seeing a station wagon parked yeah. with the window cracked Goes open or something. Basket. Yeah. <laughs> What's yeah. going on in there? Yeah. Let's eh, see what I can get. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Horrible. Horrible country. Horrible. Marsha Thomason is uh, here tonight. Marsha's from uh, the show Las Vegas, Monday night. So we're leaving on a tour of o'clock. America, Adams America. That's right. Shortly after the show. Yeah. You know what I'm, I'm we're gonna, you know we're going to start act, Las Vegas, Las and, Vegas. And toward Vegas. I knew that's where you're going. I said, actually, we might go through Palm Springs. I go through Palm Springs like and then and the the Yeah, Morongo we'll do a little casino. gambling. You know, I'm going to we're going to go to a Hadley's date farm. We're going to get you a date shake, <laughs> set the mood, and then look, maybe look at the thermometer in Zizix. Oh yeah, the yeah. world's biggest yeah. thermometer world's, over there. The and, world's biggest thermometer. You, yeah, you actually haven't been to Las Vegas. Yeah. I have been to you Las Vegas. You haven't driven there. You haven't driven. Oh. You got to drive there. Yeah. Oh. Hey, I haven't shown you my Vegas. Yeah. That's right. You've seen your Vegas. Yeah. I got to show you my Vegas. Okay. All right, we'll take a uh, quick break. We'll be right back after this. Yeah! Hey, everybody, it's Love Line. I'm Adam. That's Dr. Drew. Phone number 1 800 L O V E 191. Marsha Thomason is here tonight. She's in a little show called uh, Las Vegas, second season on NBC. Monday nights. Nice. Nine o'clock. Uh, James Kahn, weird yeah. guy, strange guy. No, he's brilliant. I love him. And often, you know, you get asked about your co-stars, and sure. you have to lie a little bit. Sure. But this is one person I don't have to lie about. Really? The rest of them just lie about, though. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. Josh Gamel, yeah, you got to lie your ass off with that kid. No. Yeah. So Kahn, he seems. He, I, I don't mean this in a bad way, but he just seems. He seems a little nutty. Is he nutty? Is he a little nutty? Yeah, he is a little nutty, but we all are, I think. I no. don't think he's anymore. And I think he's been nutty. I think he's That's in a much I mean. calmer he's recovering phase. recovering nutty, yeah. Oh, yeah. I see. Yeah. He's on the other side of, like, nut, yeah. nut mountain. Nutville, Nutville, yeah. Yeah. I have so much fun working with him. He's you such do. a laugh, yeah. It's kind of nice, actually, to catch uh, guys, especially. Most guys start mellowing in their 30s, but yeah. then nutty, nutty guys have a lot of energy well into their 50s. Yeah. But then if you can catch them a little bit past that... They're just experienced now. They're just seasoned. They they were nuts five years ago. They got lots of good stories. Oh yeah, he's a great raconteur. He's yeah. a great yeah. stories. He had someone like a fall off the balcony of his uh, condo or something. Really? There's someone who jumped out of his balcony and died like uh, five eight yeah, years ago. Condo, and like right, right. Uh, yeah, Westwood. Woman, uh, no. Right? Yeah, I don't, I don't know what it says. Some, like, somebody. Yeah, I remember that. Don't ask him about that. I'll get uncomfortable. He's speaking about jumping out of a balcony after mm -hmm. someone. Uh, last night we had a Christy Canyon in here, and uh, yeah. John from System of the Down called Dol in. Dol and film star, yes. Offered up Adam a few of her classics. Yeah, yeah. And uh, Adam... Uh, if Anderson, if you queue up the sound of the uh, paddle foot, I never, uh, yeah, I never did uh, get hold of John from System of a Down uh, oh, no. yesterday. No, so if uh, you know, I'm going to give him a butt. Oh. Ooh. He's going to Vegas. Oh. He's going to Vegas today. Go, now. I got to go. All right. Are they done with that bullet train? <laughs> Where's the bullet train? You know, so, so anyway, he's in Vegas. Not going to be back for a few days. Uh, That's is he already left? I call him. I'm going tonight, so I can grab You're, it. You me. left? Oh. <laughs> if he <laughs> brings it with him, I can find bring it him, back. And then I'm going to need you to keister it and mule it back. I know there's no border between here and there, but they do have that backyard fruit sign. No, right. but if he's already left, then it's too late. But if he hasn't left, yeah, pack, pack I it think up he's a, and... Uh, He's already left. I think he said he was leaving for Vegas today. Are we going to Vegas after the show? Yeah, oh, yeah, well, yeah. No, absolutely. Now, another no, part so of we got a VCR in our room. Oh, yeah. I got to yeah. you know, do what I got to do. We're sharing a room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But don't worry. What else gonna, you got to bugger? I'm going to be caught up in the VCR. All yeah. right. So don't worry. So to speak. Yeah, you'll be in the shower. I'll be buggering myself. <laughs> buggering the VCR. I can do it. Now, now hold on a second. Yeah. I want to know when they're going to finish that bullet train to Vegas. I've been working on it since I was in high school. By any the day, way. any minute. It would be awesome. Any minute. So you live out in Los Angeles, right? Yeah. And in Vegas, it's not filmed in Vegas, but some of it's filmed in Vegas. Or, or exterior shot, like the pool has to be shot in Vegas, right? No. No? No, no they shoot that in Marina del Rey. Wow. Oh, they do? Yeah, it's all an illusion. Wow. It's just a mirage. I would have thought that the pool, you know, it seemed like a tough one to fake. Must be a nice hotel in uh, Marina del Rey. Yeah, and we I can't remember which hotel it is, actually, but we shoot at all, all different hotels. Oh, really? Different pools, different exterior, yeah. Right, so so nothing in Vegas. We go there every now and then. We went there for um, one hideous week in August. Oh, exteriors. Oh, 170 150. degrees. Yeah, it was, yeah. Just, it was vile. 
I know. It's so funny. You cut to the interiors and everybody's really glamorous. And then we walk out the doors and you cut to the exteriors and we're just dripping. <laughs> yeah, just a glass gross. furnace. Yeah. I know. I know. Because I, I had explained that to uh, one of my cab drivers when uh, I flew in into somewhere around August. You know, 119 degrees. And he was like, whenever they hear you're from L.A., they start talking smack. Every cab driver who's in Vegas used to live in L.A. And they're like, yeah, I used to live out in L.A., uh, but, you know, gang violence, uh, mudslides, <laughs> torrential rains, corrosive smog, uh, earthquakes, and potential for terrorist attack. I moved. I'm like, hey, uh, A-hole, yeah, I'm going back in 14 hours, you understand? <laughs> I, I got a house there. So I, I, I didn't move out here. You understand? I didn't move into the Bellagio. I'm, I'm coming, going for a night, and then it's back to the home where the family is in the dreadful Los Angeles. So don't talk. What, what, the, what kind of decorum? I talk about how horrible it is. But then they go, uh, they do. and by the way, no one has any any kind of uh, pride or any kind of decorum when it comes to Los Angeles. Like, if somebody says, uh, oh, I'm from Pittsburgh. Oh, I, yeah, I hear that's not. I hear, I hear it's nice. Yeah. I hear, you, try to, you try to muster something. No, the L.A. people just hang their heads. People are like, yeah. oh, what a dive. What yeah. happened? Oh, yeah. What's going on? you got to get out of there. So... Uh, I'm, so we're driving. He's telling me what a dump uh, Los Angeles is, and I said, "Okay, uh, I'll be it. It it, uh, it may be a dump, but uh, if this cab breaks down, we die. <laughs> you, you understand? We can't walk 200 yards right. to the hotel. We will buzzards will be circling us. You understand? Right. Okay. So at least we don't die if the cab breaks down. <laughs> we might get shot halfway home, but we don't we don't we don't die of exposure." It's funny because uh, telling people you live in L.A. in England has the exact opposite effect. They're like, you do? Oh, my goodness. That's so glamorous. Oh, wow. they, think, they, think you, they think you live like famous Did you actually go to Melrose Place? What's it like? Yeah. Beverly Hills, 90210. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's all they know. Yeah. I could show them my L.A. No. Let me show you my North Hollywood. <laughs> Uh, your Van Eyes? I'll show you my Van Eyes too. And Adam is special and music Cino? too. The, the, yeah. Adam loves this certain kind of music. Yeah, this is this is what we're going to be listening to, by the way, as we crisscross this great country of ours on our well, extended road this, trip. Let's have a no, game. I'm just going to give her a little. Okay, a little, little hint. Yeah, yeah. Give, us, give us a little taste. Uh, exclusively, that's all we listen to. This is all we listen to. Yeah. That's all we listen to for thousands of miles. I, I just want you to know. I don't get it. And that's my music. That's my rules. <laughs> I, I, I hanker. We got to play. It's my car. No, we play. this is no, a car. No, we're not. We're, not. we're taking me. some calls. Later on, we'll we'll play my uh, accordion countdown. It's a game that's sweeping the nation. I'm I'm surprised it hasn't made it over How to England long yet. After the music starts, before the accordion kicks in. Ah. Uh, it's interesting. Wow. It's strong. Wow. We're I gonna was, have fun. I was, I was soundly beat by porn star last night, <laughs> yeah. and then Drew beat uh, her. Killed you guys. Yeah, Drew destroyed us with like uh, three seconds. Liz? Yeah, hi. What's up? 26. Yeah, I'm 26. Um, I was talking to some friends recently, and I, I actually kind of have over the past past several years, and I've talked about, you know, the subject of masturbation has come up, and it's come to my attention that I think it might be kind of strange. Right, hold on. Speaking hold of on, masturbation, Liz. Hold on second, Liz. Hold uh, on. John from System of a Down is calling. John? Yo! What's happening? Are, are you in I'm Vegas yet? You, uh, I'm calling you straight from the Crazy Horse 2 in Las Vegas, Nevada. <laughs> <laughs> did, somebody, did somebody call you and tell tell you we were talking about you? Somebody uh, called me and said you were, you were lying in a car, so I called in. How did you know I was in Vegas? Did I tell you that yesterday? Yeah, you did. <laughs> All right. Well, here uh, I am. Hold on. Hey. Hey. <laughs> There you go. Oh, very uh, you're you're in the Crazy Horse too in uh, Las Vegas. Las Vegas, Nevada, my friend. My favorite oh, that is... strip joint in uh, in Nevada. The Crazy Beautiful. Horse too. Yeah. Well, John, I'm I'm, I'm I'm gonna send uh, Ziggy out there to uh, pick up the tape. No, Ziggy no, no, no. Needs... You gotta come out yourself. All right, all right. I'm gonna well, need I'll him be to more get. More happy to see Ziggy. All right. Now you're you're coming back in a couple days. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad to hear you guys are working hard at that new album. Yeah. You guys are really, really putting it in time in. I deserve a break like anybody else does. Yeah. Oh, so you're just over there partying? Huh? All right. You're just having a good time in Vegas. No work? You guys aren't playing or anything? No, no. Tonight is one of my good friend's bachelor parties. Ah, uh, perfect. And, uh, sorry, sweetie. <laughs> <laughs> just bit a nipple. He just buggered someone by mistake. Yeah. You better tip anyway, her look. right, John. All right, you be back. All right, John, get get back to the boogering. We uh, we appreciate the call. Give my love to all the uh, crazy horseians uh, over there, and God bless you, know, you for calling in. You, 
You know I will, and uh, it's funny how things get around, huh? I got a phone call, call in right away. <laughs> That's right. Well, thanks, an buddy. It's I was like gonna... it's more an emergency. If you want something, <laughs> you can just go to my house and get it. All right, no, we're reality good. Show. We're good, John. I was this close to sending up the jack signal, <laughs> but uh, we'll just use the cell phone. That's the way to go. We're Thanks, buddy. Show. Porn emergency. Yeah, porn emergency. Yeah, having a porn emergency. Yeah. Wow, that is wonderful. Yeah. What a Technology. cell phone. Technology. Tell you what. All right, where are we? Uh, we're talking, talking to Liz. Liz. Poor Liz, you broke in there. Yeah. Okay. You know, you know, bachelor parties are great because it's really the bachelor party of whoever has the most money. Do you, you know what I mean? The, no. you, you, well, what I mean is, is technically one guy's getting married, mm -hmm. but the quality of the operation. The is guy, determined the, by the guy, no, the guy's getting married is usually well, he's getting married. Mm. He's of that mindset. You know what I mean? There's a, there's always a guy who's five years older and who's never been married who has a ton of cash on him. Right, right. It turns into his bachelor party. Right. Right. Plus, the guy's getting married. He's getting married. Right. Now, he can get, you know, he can get a little little whipped with a feather duster, but he, he can't go in the next room and, you know. To the buggering thing. Whatever. Then there's a sing there's a guy who's divorced who's uh, just sold his uh, dot com business, got tons of money, he's ready to go. Oof. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Guy guys and, and guys will take over other guys' bachelor parties. So they'll funny. get drunk. They'll just make a trip by the ATM, <laughs> and next thing you know, it's their bachelor party. <laughs> yeah. Good times. Crazy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Liz. <laughs> yeah. Twenty six. Yep. Nothing worse than a pathetic bachelor party. What does that mean? Just a sad one. You know, yeah. a bunch of guys. I went to a bachelor party once where it's like literally the guy, well, this is my accountant, and this is my uh, pool guy, and this is like the bachelor party of the guy doesn't really have any friends. We have a term for that in England, Billy No Mates. Oh, Billy No Mates. Billy No yeah, Mates. Yeah, he's got no mates. Mm -hmm. It's but sad. Got, this guy's got mates. They're just boring mates. No. No, not, they're his no. accountant and his manager. Yeah, they're not his Bill, mates. Billy they're boring mates. mates. They're, 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 on, they're on the payroll. <laughs> Yeah, they're on the payroll. Stop being so contrarian all the time. He's got no mates. He's got guys who work for him. They have to show up. They're on the payroll. Got it. Oh, my God. It is. Uh, we all just sat around. You know, you'd sit in a room. You'd drink, like, a lukewarm beer, and it's like uh, we went to a strip club. How did you fit into it? I was going to say, who you work Who are you? <sighs> who was I? I think I was the guy's dentist. <laughs> I'm not sure. No, I was the guy's friend. I think I was the guy's only friend. And everyone was like a wuss, and they just sat on their hands and their wallets. And I to go home early. No, no, this is years ago. Oh. This is this is like uh, 15 years ago. Yeah, it sucked. Yeah, but it enough. It was your bachelor party. No, mine was good. Yeah. Yeah, right. yeah Drew wasn't there. That's why it was good. Yeah, but that, that, I'm, I'm still upset about that bachelor party. Yeah, very upset. No, you know why? Because it was like uh, Friday afternoon, and Jimmy goes, all right, we're going to Tahoe. It's like, oh, bye, bye, bye. No, you got less. I got, got like a five-day warning on that one. Please. Seriously. Puss. You promised me you'd go. I wanted to go. I ever got married. Puss. I wanted to go. Screw you. I mean, create another one for you? Yes. All right. Liz? We'll do a, we'll do a baby shower for you. No. That will include a bachelor party. Liz? Yeah. You're 26? She's 28 now. <laughs> yeah, by now I've, I've gained a couple years. No, all right, hold I'm... on. Seriously, we got to go to break, though. <laughs> You're all right. All right, Marsha's smart ass. <laughs> They're all smart over there. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's why I like them. Yeah, they're saucy. They're, 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 they sp they spar with you. you yeah. Know, they're minxes over there. They're sharp. They got a good brain over in England. I they am develop a the brain. They develop it early. Yeah. And they, they have a little sharp tongue over Respect there. Respect for the language. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Here it's like, oh, yeah, yeah. oh, hey, dude. I got girls calling other girls, dude. And they're, they're like, we can't. he done cummed in me, dude. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's, uh, let's take a break. We'll get to Liz in a second. We'll get to Liz in a second. Uh, Marcia, hang tight. We're uh, Vegas, by the way, on uh, NBC, Monday nights, 9 o'clock. Take a quick break. Be right back after this. <laughs> Hey, everybody, Love Line. I'm Adam. That's Dr. Drew. Phone number 1 800 L O V E 191. Marsha Thomason is uh, here tonight from Las Vegas, NBC, 9 o'clock, Monday night. And, uh, ooh, you know, uh, but, uh, what? Carrie Elways is uh, coming in uh, next week, who I've never met, I don't think. Jimmy Eat World's coming in, and uh, we think. Uh, What's her name is uh, coming in? Who's coming in? What's her name? Osborne. Kelly Osborne. Kelly Osborne. Yeah. Uh, but uh, Carrie, 
I never know how to say his last name. Elwes. 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 He's English. He is. He's one of my lot. He's a good-looking kid. It's been a lot of good movies, and I uh, always want to meet him. Huh. Never met him. Drew, any thoughts? Uh -uh. You have no idea what I'm talking You've seen The Princess Bride. Come on, buddy. Princess yeah. Bride? He's the, the good-looking the guy. He's the princess. He's the princess. I mean, he's the bride. Uh, he's I mean, he's... You know what I'm saying. He's Julie Andrews. He's the dude. Okay. Come on, he's the Drew. Prince. Come on. You know what I'm talking You've seen the guy, right? Probably. Yeah, Drew. Uh, you know, any celebrity who, uh, like, took an elevator trip with you would just get out and kill himself. Yeah. <laughs> it's just when you're feeling pretty good about your career, there's Drew, huh? And, and you do what? So you you do so you're the assistant to the no I am the guy. Hey, oh, by okay. the way, by the way, that same guy would say yeah yeah I've been I've done your show three times. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh yeah. Pray you don't run into Drew somewhere. In I'm the just going to ignore him. Few months. Ignore him, please. And don't don't think I'm ignoring you. No no no. Just we we just it, we, yeah. There's trouble. Oh that's, that's all. all right then. Liz. Yeah. You're 26. I am 26. All right. You began uh, masturbating. In uh, by having an organ age nine. Yeah, I I done cummed when I was nine, if you can believe that. Nine, and uh, uh, you want you know want know if that's normal. Well, and I I was also wondering. I mean, I guess it probably makes sense because I developed really early and got my period right around then, like fourth grade. And Ooh, wow. Yeah. So, and ironically, I was a major tomboy and didn't want to have anything to do with it at the time, but. I wonder if it was just hormonal or if I'm just, I, I don't know. I, I've talked to people and I've, you know. We've the, you got to understand that the women's orgasmic response is all over the place. Some women never have orgasm, can't yeah, masturbate. No, I mean, yeah. Most don't have with, with yeah. intercourse. Yeah. And you're, oh, yeah. you're one of these folks that it probably is lucky. pretty easy for you. You're lucky. Yeah, you're lucky. Right. And, of course, it's going to turn, this whole system is sort of coming online when the, when the hormones are coming on. Now, for many women, uh, again, the orgasmic function doesn't occur until maybe 10 or 15 years later. It just doesn't right. sort of doesn't I mean, I've, sort of just, I've talked to so many people, yeah, who who aren't even able to orgasm or who never have, no matter what, you know. Or, or, or more importantly, don't. Or, or can't, right, they can't with masturbating because it doesn't um, make sense, doesn't seem right. Or intercourse right. or oral or anything. All right, hold on. Well, is it coming on earlier? Are, you know, periods coming on earlier? No, they're not. No? People believe they are, but if you actually look at the data, it's the pre-period changes, the hair growth and the breast growth. Which That's is, which, coming on. Which is actually mediated not by the ovaries, but by the adrenal gland. Mm -hmm. And that may be more of an indicator of stress than any kind of hormone circulating. Kids growing up too fast. Mm, or under stress. Yeah. Know, trauma. You know, they're like worrying about their weight. They're worrying about their grades. They're they're watching they're, the... No, they're, 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 seeing, in, they're worrying about terrorism. They're in destroyed families, getting sexually abused, getting the crap beat out of them. They True, don't judge. Work. We can't judge. judge. It's, it's just a cultural, be a cultural thing. thing. Culture, can't, we yes, can't judge. Can't we judge. cannot judge. Cannot Impossible. It's all, it's all beautiful. The point is, is this then brings on the breasts and the hair and all that kind of stuff. Right. Meanwhile, the period is starting when it starts. It started 11, 12 usually. All right. And that's where it's been for like 200 years. All right. That's more of a nutritional Those issue. are prime pedophile years, by the way. The 8 to 12? Uh, you know, the you know boobs can't come in, the period's not. Nice. I know it sounds, you know, I'm not a pedophile. But you're a practical man. I'm just, you know, I realize we have a lot less in the show, mm -hmm. and I, I feel. All so right, and, and then what about menopause? Is that is that set back further? Is that, that no. coming off at the same that's time? What about people being in better shape, living longer? You know what I mean? Like back in the day, if uh, you know menopause meant you you died five years later. Well, the menopause was sort of sort of genetically programmed to occur around the time of a life expectancy. Oh, it was yeah. We just weren't, oh, oh we just yeah, because yeah, you're done. You're, yeah, or if you went to thirty, it was a big deal. We can't uh, we can't uh, get another harvest out of your out of your field, sweetie. You're so, going in the ground. Yeah. Huh? And now, now you're we just live living. Way, way past that. Wow. Interesting. Yeah. I got my period for the first time in the theater. In the theater. I was 14. I was in the theater. I was in a white costume. Oh, my. Really? But I love that I was in the theater. That's a great story. You, you, were, you, going, you, were, you were on the stage or you no, were watching a show? No, I was on the stage. I, was in the, I went to the restroom and I was like, uh -oh. what just, what? And you were, um, you were in a white costume. When you say a white costume. I was playing costume. a sailor. Oh, really? I was in a white costume. Oh, man. And it was the matinee performance, and we had a late-night performance, which happened once in the whole run of the show. And you were and I had to wear the costume again later. It was a huge disaster. Oh, wow. Wow, it's like a tampon yeah. commercial. I was clearly meant to be an actor. South Pacific. Yeah. There ain't nothing <laughs> what like were a you damn name? nothing in the world. Yeah. <laughs> what, uh, yeah, I kind of remember that. What were you doing? I mean, what was the production? It was a pantomime. You guys don't do pantomime. We do, do pantomime. You? What, at Christmas time? 
Pantomime. It's, it's... No, no, no. It's, it, a pantomime is like a show that they, they have. They run from November through February, and it's like a Christmas thing. Mm -hmm. And the kids go, and it's like it's like high camp. There are like men dressed up as women. Mm -hmm. They play the games. So it's, I think it was Dick Whittington that I was doing. Mm -hmm. So a woman plays Dick right. in high boots. It's right. very saucy. Right. Right. And then there's usually a big fat man mm -hmm. playing. Dick's mother or something. Now, is, is pantomime, like, well, I think a pantomime... He's behind you. Marcel you Marceau know, is Yeah, is, no. is trapped in the box, right? No, that's no? not a pantomime. No. I'm not being very eloquent. Is it sort of farcical yes. comedy? Yes, yeah. You know, and it's like, it's for kids. It's like, did you see where my cat went? And then the, and the cat's behind him, and then they turn around, and the audience are like, he's behind you, he's behind you, because it's for little kids. Right. And they turn around, and they go, I can't see... You know, it's like... Right. High okay. camp. No, it's a, I it, was a sailor now, on my period. No, no, <laughs> <laughs> now it's, it's uh, funny. It's funny. <laughs> kids you love. Beer. Oh, kids love the uh, men. Where is it? <laughs> it's behind. Where's your you. tampon? <laughs> it's at home. Go get it. <laughs> all right, all right. We got to take a break. Wow, wow. Very uh, eye-opening stuff. <laughs> eye-opening. Marsha Thomason is uh, here tonight Cherry. from uh, Las Vegas, a fabulous uh, Las Vegas hit TV series, that is, uh, not the uh, city. Monday nights, 9 o'clock, NBC. We're going to take ourselves a little break. We'll be uh, right back with more grotesque revelations from Marsha. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, everybody, it's Loveline. I'm Adam. That's Dr. Drew. We got good old American gumption over here. You know, we roll up our sleeves. We don't sit around and talk about stuff. We do it. You know what I'm saying? Marsha Thomason is uh, here tonight. She is uh, from the hit TV series, Marsha Las would, Vegas. would basically yes. uh, sort of say that we are uh, capable of talking about things. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, it, it is true. Uh, Monday, 9 o'clock, NBC, we're just talking about you know, how impressive uh, England is and the educational system and all that kind of stuff. But it, it is interesting that uh, this country probably does things a little less in theory and, and, and actually knows a little less about what they're doing but tends to want to go out and do it. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, yeah. They're, they're, the, the people who are, who are sort of... This country never been accused of sort of um, uh, living up in their heads too much or... Uh, uh, over theorizing they just like to go do stuff are you saying that's what we do in england because we can take this outside right now well let's this and i'll roll up my sleeves let's, and show you how we get things it. done i think i think we should do a yeah. test here by uh, sort of yeah. matching matching wits in a game oh oh geez. really yes oh. i think yeah, Yank okay. against Brent. Yes, let's do i'm it. not into this at all this no, is no, a you, good game you're gonna like this game this is a game that when it when you go back to england you're gonna bring this with you and I predict we'll, we'll catch on. Like, you know, once in a while, back in the day, like a rat would stow away in the hold of a ship and then just go infect in a totally different continent or something. That's what this game is going to be like for England. You understand? Okay. This, this is going to be the infected roach in your cargo when you go back there. A little skeptical, but here we go. Uh, no, you're going to enjoy this. You're going to okay. enjoy this. We have uh, music out here called uh, Ranchero music. <laughs> and uh, it's, uh, it's, it's indigenous a, music. It's beautiful symphonic music. Everyone loves it. Everyone. And uh, it's uh, got a lot of accordion in it. Maybe you should give an example some, of what some, your house sounds like when you guys are working around the someone, house so she understands some, the Someone the might scene. say uh, too much. Yeah, let me give you a little taste of the music. And so yeah, Adam has been working at his house all the time. You don't have this in England. You no. guys aren't evolved enough for this. No. <laughs> but we have it here. Oh, dear. Uh-oh. <laughs> That's the accordion. Yes. Now, the question is, is stop it, Michelle, no, 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 please. No, no. I, I want to hear the version of your house, too. I love that imitation of what it's like. Do you want to know, know what it sounds like yeah. in the morning? Yeah. Well, hold on a second. Hold on. i got to set the mood. Okay. i got to set the mood. Uh, here, here, here's the thing. I've been building my house for about a year and a half. I have a lot of my uh, Latino brethren over at the house, uh, building the house. They enjoy their ranchero music. And uh, they start about 7.30. I come rolling down about uh, 9. And uh, then usually see something that uh, I told them not to do that uh, angers me. And... Uh, and, uh, now that's, you're not being, that is all, all your workers, whether they're Caucasian or whatever, oh, yeah. you do that too. You, you, oh, yeah. I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm, e you're, you're, I'm equally equal abusive. abusive. So I don't, I don't, look, I don't yes. look at skin color. Yeah, right. I just look you at work, and all. then I start start abuse. But uh, here's uh, So I'm in my bathrobe. Uh, they've been going at it for two hours, usually in the wrong direction. And uh, They've been going at it. Here's uh, no work-wise. Work. No boogering. Okay. And uh, here's uh, here's what it sounds like. Come downstairs in the garage. All right, uh, Ozzy, come here. 
I see. I, th- I thought we talked about. Uh, I thought that you're using semi gloss. I, I said. I said if you're gonna go with an oil base, you gotta go with the oil base. Right. We got, but turn it down. <laughs> turn it off. Turn it off. <laughs> that that's what it sounds like. Every morning. Every morning. It starts creeping in and starts. It starts just destroying the cells in your brain. It's slowly losing. The slowly, and, and you realize you go from like, huh, what's that, to incredibly annoyed in just uh, just about about ten seconds. So, all right, now the game. we play the song, and uh, this is called uh, Ace's uh, Accordion Countdown. You uh, tell us uh, after uh, after Michelle randomly cues it up, how long before we hear the accordion? I got the clock here. Drew, you want? Yeah. I'm what? just going to randomly give you a number. Yeah, give us a number. Just what you think? How many the, seconds or minutes or <laughs> hours before uh, you hear the accordion? Eight seconds. Eight oh, seconds. It's good. It's good. good. It's good. It's good. That's solid. Yeah. May may play this before in other shows. Yeah, well, I don't she know. May, she, she may not be a ringer. She may be a ringer. She may be. A maybe I'm not even English. Oh, maybe that could I'm be an Kentucky. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> She's weirding out on us. <laughs> Keep the bets going. Sure, then. Keep going. All right, so let's one, go. One True. Second. What do you one got? Second. One second. One, one second. One second. Oh, because it can go immediate. You know what I'm saying? A lot of, a lot of guys might go nine seconds. I'm, I'm going high. I'm going 14 seconds. Ooh. I'm All going right, 14. Go. Just no, hold impress, on. Right? Just hold on. Impress. Just impress. Yeah. All right. Now, you ready? You're randomly queued up and action. It's the same song. Nope. They just don't sound the same. We're at seven, seven seconds. Oh, oh, there it is. All right, eight. nine. It was eight. It was eight. It. Yeah. There you go. I'm wow. Come on, cool England. Wow. wow. Ringer. Wait a minute. Crank it up. Was I hearing, was hearing the uh, solo there? So that's a... Yeah. Wow. Dead nuts on. That's scary. <laughs> wow. That's my love. It's like you're possessed. <laughs> Let's do it again. Uh, Gotta do it again. Uh, that's, that's beginner's luck. Oh, that's not fair, man. Okay, go, go on. Oh, hold Im- on. Immediate, immediate. All right, do you got another, do you got another song queued Im- up Im- there? Immediate. All right, going there. Yeah, Marsha, yeah. Drew's going immediate. Instant. What are you going? I'm going 12, I don't oh, know. 12 I'm seconds. Saying, I don't 12 know seconds. what I'm saying. All right, Scaring okay, me. go with it. You have an impulse. You got you to trust your gut. She's pretending she doesn't know this. Let me tell you something. Hold on a second, Marsha. Just listen to me. You have a gift for guessing accordion music, okay? (laughs) Not everyone has that. You understand? You've been touched by God, all right? Never question your gut. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) Sounds like Scooby-Doo. You you understand? You understand what I'm saying? You snorted. I'm snorting. All right. Don't ever question yourself, (laughs) girl. You understand? Never again. Okay. So you're 12 seconds. Drew's at zero. I'm going right in between. I'm going six seconds. Hold on. You ready, Michelle? Yeah. And go. Uh Six seconds now. Oh, no. Eight seconds. Oh. 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 Nine seconds. Nine seconds. Right in between you two. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Wow. I want six. Uh, you want 12. We land on nine. Wow. Tiebreaker. Here you go. You I, I, let's uh, Drew, different, no, no. Let's take a call. Let's take a call. Drew, you're angry because you want immediate <laughs> and you got burned. That's I, I, all. I, I don't like that group. That's sad. Uh, I just I won like twice. That. Sour Stuck grapes. Sour grapes. Sour grapes, Drew. Big goose egg for you, brother. No, and let me tell you something. This guy was on top of the accordion guessing world. Yeah, as of yesterday. As oh. of yesterday. Oh, Ryan, fickle. Top Ryan, hi. Fickle Here finger today, of fate. Tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's, it's a cruel, cruel mistress. <laughs> yeah. The accordion it, music. it really is. Yeah. <laughs> trying uh, trying to handicap accordion music is a, is a tough it's way a to make a living. It's a crap yeah, business. It really is. This one. This one. I, 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 uh, you sent got a gift. Upset. Got a gift. It's a gift. All right. Yeah. Re- Rebecca? Hi. You're 24? I am. I'm sorry we didn't get to you earlier, but we had some important business. Oh, What's I up? <laughs> What's up, um, baby doll? Well, first I want to say I really admire what you guys do. Stay on the air. Yeah, um, it's, important. it's important. And uh, I'm 24, and I've been sexually active since I was 18. I've, I've been masturbating probably since I was 14, 15, something like that. So I've had mm. orgasms on my own pretty regularly, but whenever... Sometimes. I have sex, I don't have orgasms. And whenever I try to have oral sex, I don't have orgasms then either. I, in fact, I find it rather irritating. Hmm. Are you, are you, do you have multiple orgasms? I'm, you know, I'm not sure. I heard you mention that on a show uh, a few weeks ago. Uh, you know, and I was I, like, I, well, how would you know? 
you well no no that's not you then do you um uh have a boyfriend i do i'm actually married and is he try to sort of are you able to sort of guide him through his oral sex what I, he does to I'm you not, just whenever he goes down there it's just it's it's like nothing but it just doesn't get I, I, have, I have a suspicion it's him that's my suspicion because the fact that she's able to orgasm relatively easily she's a, she's a one timer doesn't with intercourse she should be able to have with oral sex well okay but let me say this uh, feeling nothing is different than not enjoying it so you know you would think that even if he was doing a uh, may be. horrible job she would f you know feel something well, and, and might be able to guide him yes Marcia well he's yeah. oh Nothing. He's pretty um, yeah. sexually experienced. He's very sexually experienced. All right, true. He's quite the wild youth. Um, well, well, okay, but, but that doesn't, that doesn't mean, mean he's any no, good, though. That's right. No, but no, even, but like, even it helps. Like, direct finger stimulation it hurts, actually. I can't stand to have anyone touch me there. Uh, and you, how do you uh, masturbate? How do you orgasm by yourself? Um, I mostly uh, I use vibrators, external vibrators. Why I kind you... of like... One. Yeah. Yeah. Why don't like, you include that? In yeah. What weave you that into the mix. Yeah. Okay. We can you do can that? that? Well, yeah. Surprise! We're the first to but think see, of that. But that's what I'm saying, Rebecca. This is—it's yeah. almost bizarre that you haven't thought of that. It All again right. leads me back to the point where I'm thinking, geez, she might not be comfortable expressing to her husband exactly what she needs done. Mm. They're mm. thinking, oh, he's I, so experienced, he must know what he's doing. You know what he's doing? He does for you. He doesn't know what he's doing. Mm. How about, yeah, and, how and, about and it? And he doesn't have a whole lot of pride in that area, like, oh, well, I'm so great. He's willing to learn and, and listen to me. It's just that I, I'm probably mm -hmm. not vocal enough. Yeah. All right. Is well, there anything, is there anything, any problems? What's missing? You, yeah, were you abused or anything we have to know about to make this? Uh... Not that I'm aware of. Okay. So it's just really you're, you're uncomfortable. A lot of women have really great difficulty uh, discussing it. They're so focused on making a man happy. The idea of turning it around and focusing on them is very difficult for some. You don't have to really, uh, you, you know, first off, it's it's not like, you, you know, you're up in the control tower and you're talking a guy down who uh, can't fly an airplane. No. It's just a little noise. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Warmer. Warm, oh, hot, molten, I, I think fire. this guy's going to need a little, little retooling, though, I do. I know, but you're you're so quick to jump on I, this I, I guy. Am, I am, I, I know. He's, he's an experienced guy who uh, evidently doesn't have much ego when it comes to this. She just can't tolerate it. She she's can't not helping him. strangely, that she needs a certain something different. Yeah. Uh, Rebecca. Yeah. The, what's uh, this guy do for a living? Uh, we're both in the Navy. Oh, mm hmm What's he do? Boats win. Um... He's okay. underwater ordnance. Mm -hmm. That's a wow. Yeah. No, he he does the he does the surface to air stuff, but he's underwater. Oh, I see. I see. That's that's, that's the something twist. like that. Yes. And and he's underwater ordnance, yeah. like bombs, yeah, like mines, and, mines. Yeah, my bombs. Wow. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And what do you do? Um, I'm in aviation. All right. And there was it down. Will you guys uh, you guys go out on the same ship? No, actually, right now we're stationed pretty far apart. Okay, and there's no no big issues. Um, uh -oh. other than we don't live together presently, it you yeah. know. All right, <laughs> all right. You sound you sound. And l let me tell you something. I I hate to uh, I hate to hate to sound uh, anti-American here, but uh, when a uh, young lady is in the navy, something's wrong. <laughs> something happened. <laughs> something happened. Something went wrong. Oh, look, I, I you know I get a lot of crap for this, especially uh, during wartime, but. Uh, close your eyes. Uh, think about the guys you went to high school with who uh, ended up enlisting. This, they, they weren't on the dean's list. You know what I mean? This is what you do. There's a, there's a, there's this very small minority of guys in the military that are actually career guys that you know went to Naval Academy or West Point or something. Uh, for the, the the bulk of the guys that are in there doesn't doesn't make what they do any less important. It's just they got out of high school. They didn't have a lot of options. Let's ask guys why Rebecca went in. I'm just curious. Mm -hmm. Rebecca? Yeah? Why uh, Why did you join the Navy? Um, I wasn't sure where I wanted to go with my life. I had a couple of things happen. I uh, what graduated happened? high school. I had a baby. Mm -hmm. um, I, I got pregnant about a year after high school. I gave him up for adoption. Ooh, good for you. God yeah. bless you. Yeah. Was, he's wonderful. He's about to turn five. Oh, my God. Um, yeah. And 
I just, I, I was working at McDonald's. I was happy working at McDonald's. All right. That's a bad sign. Well, that's what I'm saying. This is yeah. what you do. You don't got anything cooking. It's, it's, it's not like, oh, your dad left you his publishing empire or uh, you're going to, uh, you know, you're, you're going to go to the NBA. No, no, I think I'm, I'm going to join, join the Marines. Well, it doesn't work that way. You got nothing going, you, yeah. you do it. Yeah. That's how it works. Okay. All right. So you're, you're dealing with a population that oftentimes comes from you know, broken families, a smattering of abuse. Things, things aren't working out so good, and they're smart enough at 19 to go join up or 18 to go join up. But other than that, it's work at McDonald's and uh, you know, get married to some idiot and get pregnant. That's what happens. Yeah? So, so, so you're sort of saying two things at once. I should have done it. Right. I was, I was cleaning carpets and right. digging ditches. Right. You don't learn it's anything. A good, it's a good way to go. Yeah, but I'm just drifting. I'm just yeah. saying you're dealing with a population that is you know not uh, not uh, Harvard bound. All right. All right, all right. Best country in the world, right here. <laughs> Best fighting force in the world. Yeah, and you know what? They travel on their stomachs. Yeah, army does. Oh, that's right. Yeah. What do you mean? That's, they say an army travels on their stomach. That's all I know. <laughs> I think it's Napoleon when Napoleon came up with that. I think when they're crawling underneath that barbed wire that's thing is what they're stomach. talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah see like them the that tigers. way. Yeah, whereas. The uh, terrorists, they travel on their hands because they're on those monkey bars. Always on the monkey bars. They always show us. They got that one piece of footage. Hey, look at them. They're on the monkey bar. Where's, where's that happen? Yeah. And by the way, you know, the plane uh, they took over with the box cutter. Monkey bars? Yeah. Where, where yeah. are the monkey bars? How, how many those guys, uh, yeah. They must the think bars. the United States just one set of monkey bars. Like, <laughs> how do you get from, uh, you know, downtown Manhattan up to the Upper West Side? Hey, monkey, monkey bar. Bars. You just can just hang on those bars. Like, they must think they made us like a form of transportation for us. Yeah? Must be. All right. Let's get back to the phones. What do you say? Here we go. Let's break it down. Come on. Let's get it on. Marshall, Woo! let's go. Yeah. That's right. Bring That's it. Right. Bring it. Bring it on. One for one or two for two or at you least need a break. one How and a half for two. You need a tiebreaker. You guys split that one. Aces uh, accordion bands, countdown. Though. New bands. Right. Wow. Look at Drew. Take He's very serious. Venting. Very serious. Venting. I, I'm upset. Venting Ooh, on Engineer topic. Michelle. Jeez. Venting Ooh. on her. Cruel mistress. Sweet. He's just lashing out. So you won't forget me now, right? No, yeah. you're right. You'll remember this face right. now, right? Oh, yeah. 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 Marsha Thomason. That's yeah. right. Yeah. yeah. The sound she, beating she, you just she, got. She did play football, I think. Yeah. <laughs> That's not <laughs> football. She's going to have another period, won't you? <laughs> Get her fired up. Oh yes, I've seen I've seen it happen. All right, what do you have? Do you have uh, you have something cute up there? Okay, guys, I'll, I'll be the referee on this one. You guys, uh, oh, bet. this is the rubber match. I'm out. I, I'm All right, ladies, you, you Marcia, want me to go? Ladies first. Okay. Ladies first, please. Okay. I'm gonna say eight again. Eight seconds. Eight seconds. Eight seconds. I go nine. I'm over, yeah. and then I get anything over. Anything under, is you're screwed. And you know that that yeah. ranchero music. <laughs> and I'm going. I'm going. I'm going seven. Yeah, I'm going seven. I guess the bad. All right, go ahead. Oh, yeah. I think that's it. It's in. It's yeah, it's in. That's it. That's it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, okay. we, win. Oh, we gotta win. We gotta win. We gotta win. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> F yeah! <laughs> yeah! F yeah? Yeah. Yeah. All right. F yeah. F yeah. <laughs> F yeah. Woo! Immediate. See, Drew, you would have gone in immediate. Absolutely. You would have won it. Mm. Absolutely. Wow. But eight, good call. It's good, good, you good, know. solid call. You win some, you lose some. She's human. Jeff? She's human after all. I, 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 yeah, I guess is. so. I yeah. guess so. Jeff. Yeah. Twenty-three. Yep. Well, you've been uh, married for two months. Yep. You uh, have sex with your wife, but you can't orgasm. Uh, sometimes it's happened about a dozen times. Um, How long you been dating her? Dating her for six years. And you guys been having sex most of that time? Nope, not until we got married. All right, yeah, so it's been two you months. You waited all that time. Wow. And are you on any medications? Nope. Any medical problems? No, none at all. Whose idea was it to wait? Hers? Uh, both of us. Both mm -hmm. So you're religious? Yep. What's your religion? Uh, covenant religion. Oh, what's that one? Which? Covenant? It's, uh, it's Protestant. Oh, I see. I think I'm covenant. Yeah. Covenant's on. Mm -hmm. Okay, and uh, so uh, no sex before marriage. Right. All right, and uh, now you guys are married, and uh, so you've only been having sex for two months. When you masturbate, or when you were sort of trying to not have sex with your wife, you were masturbating, I imagine, yes? Yeah. And yeah. would it take a long time for you by yourself? No, not really. Not not too much. I just. Mm -hmm. do, you have, do you feel nervous or anxious when you're with your wife? 
No, not at all. Hmm. Quite comfortable, but it's just, uh, it seems like when uh, we uh, try to have sex at a faster pace, which is, is uh, what she needs for, to reach orgasm, it just, it just hmm. doesn't work for me. Well, there right. you go. That, that's... Well, and, but it has worked a number of times, right? Oh, yeah. This is, no, no, no. Right. This is that work it out phase. They're still yeah, working yeah. it out phase. Yeah. Yeah, you, you got to work, Jeff. It takes a while to work it out. Plus, yeah. you guys, you guys, and and I got to say this to Marsha. Two months. It could take it could take you six more months to to, to grease it. So and that's speak. what I'm saying to Marsha. When we hit the road, the booger road, the, when we hit the boogering highway. Mm -hmm. uh, don't expect us to you know mesh, you know, in California he, or he Nevada just, or even managing, Arizona. He's managing expectation now. It'll yeah, what fun. I, what It'll I'm saying fun. is is we'll we'll start hitting our stride, uh, like a dance couple. Like a couple that hasn't worked out, we'll start hitting our stride around the middle of the country. What by you, by the time you hit those the big those, country, those river boats in uh, yeah. Missouri, Mississippi. Well, you, that yeah. might be a little early, actually. No, no, you're build expectations. I'm optimistic about you guys. All right, so yeah, somewhere around KC, I think uh, yeah. I'm going to start coming into my own, and then then it's going to be fast free fall after that, though, because oh, yeah? I start tapering off pretty quick after yeah. that too. He's, he returns oh, to his yeah. usual pace. Jeez, you really right. sold it to me. Na I can't wait. Masturbate. That doesn't matter because I have endless. I have I have an uh, MP. P3 player with uh, 13,000 Ranchero songs that I hook. <laughs> I use a cassette adapter. I hook it right into the stereo, and we'll just we'll we be can listening. We just play this game. We'll be listening. We'll be playing accordion countdown all the way, all the way across the country. It'll be awesome. I uh, imagine it's yeah. a lot of pressure to to be with someone for six years and to wait to have sex and then. Yeah, yeah. You know? and, 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 and relation. Think about it. when people are together, they, they sort of work it out. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. the, the, neither of these two have ever worked it out with anybody. Right. So they they've got to kind of work out right. not just their their own thing but yeah, also yeah, their yeah. coupling thing. Yeah, and uh, you know she knows what she the fact that she can have an orgasm with intercourse is a positive Pretty good. thing. Yeah, it's good. She needs a certain style of stimulation. They have to sort of balance. Oh it yeah, out, so. yeah, and yes, worse. You know, if you'd met uh, two months and a day ago and started having sex, it would be easier than knowing each other for six years and then having sex right. after that six years. So you guys are fine. Oh, they're great. You'll it's land gonna on your feet. It's going to work out. Your kids just, are just great. Just concentrate on working it out, figuring it out. That's right. Maybe Carrie Elwes was on the show. Maybe he has been on the show Is before. Is he the guy from England? He's the guy from England. That brought his family here. Maybe brought his family? Is he, he, play, he plays the bad... There are two guys in Princess Diaries. Yeah. No, he's Princess the he's bride, Princess Bride. Princess Bride. Princess bride. He's 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 the good one. He's the prince. Okay. No, we had the other one. We did. Yeah. Okay. 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 I just saw him last week. I can't remember. Oh, Andre the Giant. Yeah, Andre the Giant. Okay. We're gonna take ourselves a uh, <laughs> little break. Andre's passed on. He's yeah. dead, dude. He's great though, because he was a huge guy, and people would tell stories about him. Like, oh, he would sit down, he would eat uh, eleven chickens, and drink three cases of wine. And he loved the ladies. I was, I don't know. There's something about guys that are really short or really big. Uh, he loved the ladies. <laughs> I was like, all right, I, what do I got to do, vomit? What do you mean he loved the ladies? He's, he's 18 inches tall. He loved them. It's like your mind starts going to these bizarre places. He loved the ladies. Hervé Villachez, a tattoo from uh, Love, Love a Fantasy Island. Love the ladies. Love the ladies. <laughs> I think people are trying to freak you out in their own way. Like, look, I mean, Drew, you love the ladies, right? No, uh, Dr. Loves the lady. Loves. <laughs> <laughs> so I got a picture of an 800 pound guy on top of like, what, how many, six women? Or he loves the lady. <laughs> so it's weird. They always say that about every Herve, midget. Herve. Yeah, Herve, but like, picture him crawling inside a woman and running around like he's on a hamster wheel oh, or something. Boy. He loved the ladies. <laughs> and then once in a while, they, they throw you this one, too. He loved the And the ladies loved it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. I, listen, I got to take a shower. I love me a midget. I'm, I'm taking a shower. You understand? Oh, yes. Yeah. I got, uh, there ain't enough loofah in this country for me to get clean from that last guy. <laughs> he loved the ladies. <laughs> it's okay, weirdo. Do I need to know the other guy's sex life? Is there any normal size guy who loved the ladies? <laughs> All right, let's take ourselves a little break. Marsha Thomason here tonight from uh, Las Vegas, Monday nights, NBC, 9 o'clock. Quick break. Be right back after this. Hey, everybody, it's Loveline. I'm Adam. That's Dr. Drew. Phone number 1 800 L O V E 191. Marsha Thomason is here tonight. She Hello. is uh, from the hit series Las Vegas, NBC, Monday nights, 9 o'clock. She, uh, Jimmy Kahn, and uh, Nikki Cox, dear, dear friend, Molly Sims.
dear, dear friend. Am and, I uh, a dear, dear friend now? You shall be. You shall be. At the end of the night. You can be competing with him a little bit. You may, may, may have a grudge. <clears throat> no, no, but no. Once the bug ring begins, it'll be fun. <laughs> <laughs> wow. going to hang on to that, baby. with us for a while. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Sarah. Hi. Um, first of all, I want to say I thought I was totally on top of this, but apparently we get a delayed broadcast. Mm -hmm. So, um, last night, Dr. Drew was talking about um, memory problems in people who've been sexually abused. We were talking about blocked memories, yeah, and then that yeah. is not a um, common thing. I was sexually abused. Like, there's documentation, there was a court case, right. like it's documented I was abused. Okay. The guy didn't get convicted because they couldn't prove it was definitely him, which was horrible. But, uh... Um, well, did you know it was definitely him? I don't anymore. I did then. They had me testify. I was six years old. I testified. Yeesh. But I can't remember anything from before I was, like, eight years old now. Okay. And I have other problems, and I'm wondering if they're related. Memory problems were, like... I can't remember conversations I have day to day. Are you on medication? No, I'm not on any medication. Do you have any medical problems? Uh-uh. No. Huh. And, like, so I do fine in school, but it's, like, conversations, and it's it's affecting my relationship with my husband, and... Ooh, 19 with I don't husband. know. Well. Do, you, do you dissociate easily? Do you know what I mean by that? <clears throat> Where you sort of kind of fade out or go out of body kind of thing? Uh, yeah, and I used to more when I was a kid. Okay, so the, the, that dissociative biology is something that will, you, you need that to be treated, okay? You need to see a therapist who's used to treating trauma survivors, because what happens when you've been traumatized, particularly at a young age, is you sort of learn to shut down. And that shutdown reaction starts to happen across a broad range of stress. In other words, anytime you're uncomfortable or you, somebody talks to you strangely, you just, you, you'll click out, you'll freeze. And that in that situation, you, memory doesn't work very well. Yeah. Okay. okay. I mean, I don't have a problem with rote memory. Like I remember birthdays and telephone numbers. And uh, now listen to what I'm saying. Yeah. When you're, but you're, I don't you're, remember like conversations. Like if an, I'm like talking to my boyfriend, and then he's like, "Don't you remember? I told you well, my work schedule." In, in yesterday. an Why waste your breath? By the way, she's she, not going to remember this. Answers, yeah. And now she's not going to remember the conversation. No, no, in, in an interpersonal <laughs> context, where there is stress. You may be dissociative, and your memory won't work very well. Well, and let being me ask, dissociative is yeah. not a good, healthy thing. You're going to have problems with because of that, and so you need to get that treated. Why are you married so young? Um, it's common law. He and I have a daughter together who's four. We live together. We're both college students. Hold on, um, you have a daughter who's four? Yeah, we're both okay. parents. We've been together for five years. Mm -hmm. so you know, he's an abuse survivor too, right? Hmm. No, he's not. What's uh -huh. he doing? I mean, so you were pregnant at 14 or 15? 14. 14. Wow. Yeah. And uh, no, that's considered an old maid in this country. Oh, yeah. yeah. In Adams, America. Uh, most most yes. women pregnant by 8 or 9. Mm. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My mom, my mom's 39. It, yeah. I'm actually, you're older. Really <laughs> 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 the pastor. Sarah. Sarah. Uh, yeah, all right. Uh, this. Uh, how old is your husband? Uh, he's also 19. <coughs> We're both so, but, but in it's a uh, it's common law husband. You didn't have a ceremony? Um, no, because we get more financial <coughs> aid if we're not married. Okay. Like I if see. we don't file taxes together. So you live together, is that school. what? Are you in yeah, a college? Yeah, we live in an apartment together. We're both students. I'm an English major. What he's college? A major at the Colorado School of Mines. School of Mines? Mines, M I N E S. It's an engineering. Mine. School. Mines. Oh, like yeah. coal mine. Oh, really? These are <laughs> school of mines. First off, seems like a uh, seems like like you, you're gonna get like black lung just yeah. uh, during the Pledge of Allegiance. <laughs> yeah, and uh, like a turn no, of the century. Um, yeah. Yeah. Who teaches your statistic class? A guy named Cookie with a long beard. He's an old timer. Yeah, <laughs> yo, there's gold. He's got him. Uh, who's uh, who's uh, well, Charlie the, Weaver? Yeah, no, he's got. Yeah, and the... Uh, Charlie Weaver is the uh, dean of students. The yeah, dean of students is, uh, is a donkey. <laughs> it's an old mule. I had to pull him around all the time. Sounds like crazy. What well, I got the snack shack? I got this stream water and uh, dried salmon. Roots. <laughs> sounds like a bad place to... Uh, sounds brilliant. <laughs> name of the football team is the uh, Shafts. <laughs> Ooh. Give him the Shaft. That's a good name. 
Wait a minute. You could do worse than Shaq. Yeah, you could. He called him Lord Jeffs. Yeah. <laughs> what you talking about? Uh, Shut your mouth. <laughs> just talking about Shaft. I, you know, the thing that's great about uh, the Shaft song is is he doesn't he doesn't sing song when he responds to the backup singers. Like, he doesn't go, who's the baddest mother? Shut your mouth. He doesn't go, just talking about Shaft. He's just like, who's the baddest? Shut your mouth. Just talking about Shaft. Like, what? Huh? Like, like, they actually cut in, you know? It's a conversation. Yeah, I love the beginning, too. It's like... Who's the private dick? Who's the sex machine to all the chicks? Shaft, but no one understands him but his lady. It's like, huh? His woman. Yeah, his woman. His woman. But his woman's hey, okay with him being uh, sex, with all the chicks. Sex machine to all the chicks. Very liberal. All of them. No, he's got the one lady understands him. Oh God. Yeah, understand? Is this while he's banging or like her sister and her friend? Uh, when is the understanding part? That's that was a good seventies movie. Icon when when you know you, 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 you get to go, you get to go bang as many women as you want, but there's one chick who knows you. She knows you. <laughs> oh yeah, she knows. You. She knows you like to bang other women too, but she she knows you. She's there. She knows the real you. She, she's past the it. The real you. Yeah. 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 He's a sex machine That's to all the chicks. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all right, John Shaft. I like to work his first name in. All right. That's another one of those uh, movie things, which is if a guy's got a cool last name. Like uh, you know, he's a he's a cop, and his name is uh, a, a justice breaker yeah. or something like that. His first name has to be John because right. it makes it plausible. Right. See, yeah, what, right. Shaft. What kind of name is it? John's his first name? Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, okay. Right, All right. right I could see that. Not, and, he, and, he didn't try to get something the first name. And the guy always has to be called by his last name. Oh yeah, that's, so that's always just, always by the last name. But first name John. Yeah. See, no, that's realistic. Yeah, of course. Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah, if his name was like Rock or, or Justice Gaylord. or Gaylord. <laughs> well, Gaylord, never... Gaylord Shaft would be name yeah. a good bar. <laughs> Can All you right. dig it? <laughs> Gaylord Shaft. <laughs> Shut your mouth. He's a, he's a private dick who's buggering all the guys. He's Gaylord. He's Gaylord Shaft. <laughs> <laughs> Wash your ass. <laughs> oh, my God. Just talking about Gaylord. <laughs> Sarah? Oh, my goodness. Huh? Yeah. All right. Sorry. Yeah, Marsha got me going in a weird direction there. <laughs> I don't know what she was talking about. Sorry. Oh, yeah, yeah. So he goes to a, he goes to a mining school? Um, It's an engineering school. It's actually, like, the third most prestigious engineering school in the country. They have, really? like, their own particle accelerator. Wow. wow. Yeah. Uh, he, it, yeah, we what, were all surprised what, that he got in. What's, so. what's the mine school, uh... What's the uh, M I N E? Did it not? Was it not a military thing at one time? Um, I don't think no. so. But we do uh, feed in uh, a lot of our graduates feed into uh, Lockheed Martin. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah. And where do you go? Uh, I go to Metropolitan State College. It's uh, just a state college in the middle of Denver. All right. I'm actually, I actually spoke there. It's it's got a. Oh, really? That's it's right great. in the middle. It's by the stadiums, sort of, and it's. Uh, yeah, it's like down by the. There's like, there's like three schools. And, there's like three schools there, though, right? Yeah, I go to Metro. There's also yeah. the Community College and right. the CU Denver branch. That's right. All right. Metro's the good. All right. Well, wow. Never seen teen parents uh, doing so well scholastically. Yeah. All right. Yeah, so we we work our butts off all the time. I would never right. recommend our path to anyone ever. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Don't get preachy. <laughs> so you, your your memory. Uh, how about some therapy for uh, yeah, I've said for the atrocities in the past? Sorry. You got to get some treatment for this. Yeah, That's I really... mean, I was in therapy before, and I just. You know, I, when I was younger and then I moved away from the town I was living in and, like, I just hit a really bad patch in my life. And then I moved into Denver and I got into one really bad relationship and then... Um, no, right. you're, doing, sorry, therapy. You're, you're doing great. You're doing great, but you still have that tendency to dissociate. He's a you complicated like, man, see some of but no guys. one understands has him. has some expertise in woman, dealing with that woman, problem. Lady? Woman. Shut your mouth. John you're damn right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, I swear I did watch Shaft. I watched about an hour of Shaft wow. uh, when I was uh, up north uh, about six months ago. Not a great movie. <laughs> you, you realize a ton, ton of mileage out of the soundtrack. Yeah. 
ton of mileage out of the of the name and so just sort the beginning, of the, the beginning is aired many many times it's right right when you watch the movie I, the budget must have been uh, 35 grand like uh, for the sound was horrible it wasn't done right it was shot it was just sort of ridiculously bad and really had nothing going on it was it was a b movie b minus type movie just got right place right time right name but also b minus in the 70s was just uh just yeah. total just ridiculous that was, that was uh, an a comedy uh, all right. Here we go. Keep going. Where are we going? Tony. Where are we going? Tony. Talking to Tony? Yeah. Talking to Tony. Here we go. Let's break it down. Tony, there we go now. Yeah. Yeah. Woo! Hold on. What happened to those uh, particle accelerators? Remember we are going to smash atoms or, we or do that. protons yeah, or yeah. something? What are That's we getting? That. Where's we're the getting electricity? Sub, sub, oh, no, 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 no. I want something. <laughs> That's different. I want free energy. Oh, you want to get f fusion out I want fusion. Yeah, I see. Well, no, they they had, they built the yeah, linear huge, accelerators. Yeah, they, that's, huge that's accelerators. How they, that's how they've been able to study subatomic particles and whatnot. Where's the Physics. car? Where's where, where's the car that runs off of my <laughs> urine? You, you know what I mean? What's where's, going where's on? Where's the Back to the Future car? Where's the, where's the freebie stuff? Yeah, yeah. Where's the perpetual motion stuff? Yeah, we'll where's the that. battery we'll that never wears Just out? Keep holding your breath. Where well, is hey, it? you got the 30 hours on the mp3 player and the phones now I mean, it's amazing mp3 mp3 yeah the one oh oh you mean oh the one yeah the one the 30 hour battery yeah. with the uh, 13,000 songs it doesn't yeah. work with my mac that one oh no yeah oh uh, come on using it for doorstop oh. yeah my kids will use it no way my kids are fighting over the one i've got sorry tony i was going to give it to him until i found tony. out they wanted it 122 minutes wow tony Oh, Tony could have fallen asleep. Yeah. Tony's been on hold for 122 minutes. No. Yeah. yeah. Tony. Let's listen. Tony sounds like... I can hear him snoring a little bit. Yeah, but he seems like the kind of guy we really hear him sleeping, you know, what you think? Tony's the name of a guy who... Who you... Who has produce. Sleeping disorder, yeah. yeah. Tony. You know, it's funny. He's calling from Anaheim. Anaheim, I was telling you the other night... Uh, the uh, best cities to sleep in, oh. Minneapolis, <laughs> yeah. Minnesota, number one. <laughs> number two, Anaheim. Well, well, he's clearly a case asleep. example. That's right. Well, let's take a break. He's spearheading the whole thing. Yeah, let's take a break. Marsha Thomason uh, here tonight from, uh, and by the way, Marsha, I, I know you well, but I always have to look down because I'm scared I'm going to call you Thompson. Yes, or Thompson. Or Tom, uh, Tom, Thompson. Yeah, it's funny because that's never yeah. happened to me before. I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> Marsh Thompson here, Las Vegas, everyone. Monday nights, 9 o'clock, NBC. Quick break. Be right back. Yeah! Hey, everybody, Loveline. Yeah. Got to get it on. Woo! Freak out. <laughs> Tell you what. Yeah, Marsha Thompson is uh, here tonight. Oh. Las Vegas, everybody. Name of her show. <laughs> Monday nights, NBC, 9 o'clock. 9 o'clock. And uh, what's going on in the movie uh, world? Got the Haunted Mansion coming yeah. out. I'm sure it's out on, out on DVD now, Yeah, right? it's out on DVD already. Uh, what else? Anything brewing? Anything I did cooking? an independent movie called The Nickel Children about child prostitution. Mm. Ooh, um, they're just getting that ready to try and mm. do the festival circuit. So I uh, just had a film, Pure, in the Hollywood Film Festival. And uh, so uh, is it... Is, would you, if you had your druthers, would you just exclusively do films, or uh, do you enjoy doing a series? I enjoy doing the series. I like the, uh... yeah, I do. I, I enjoy no, it. That's no. So I study work. Like steady work. No, I like the um, the regularity of it because, like, with what I do, the, it's, you never know what you're going to be doing from one day to the next. And I kind of like, you know, having a place to go. I've got a little office the structure. And, yeah. yeah the, right. Yeah. Where do you guys? Where's your sound stage? Culver City. Oh, Sony. Your Sony. No, they 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 converted um, they converted a warehouse into a into casino. a casino. Yeah. Yeah, it's amazing. I mean, it looks like a casino. You been there? If you no, I mean I've seen it on Seth, TV where it looks like a casino. Right, right. And if you think about it, you know, I, I think that's one of the one of the few things that people don't know, which is is they'll take a sewer system and build the sewer system. Right, right. They'll take a casino, they'll build a casino, they'll take a boat, they'll build a boat. Right, and right. Anything but try to light and put cameras in the, in real, the real the real thing. And especially in, especially in casino, you couldn't yeah. do it. Well we shot the pilot at the Mandalay Bay. And it was kind of a nightmare because, yeah. you know, the, the place never sleeps, so there's patrons everywhere. Yeah, you're uh, drunken idiots yeah, from Ohio. Just, <laughs> exactly. 
and we were having to film at stupid o'clock, you know, because that was when it was quieter, and it was just, right. it's just not easy. And by the way, if you're waiting for the casino to quiet down in Vegas, you know, it's like, well, it's 9.30 at night, things should be settling oh. down. I mean, yeah. you got to go, you get somewhere between, like, 4.15 a.m. and 6 a.m. or right, something. That's about it. I would imagine it's probably better at 7 a.m. than it is at 4 a.m. Probably, probably. You know what I mean? Yeah. It may be like 4.30 to 6. Everyone I know, sort of some, somewhere around 4 or 5, finally goes and passes out. And the people that come down early to gamble at 7, that's a, that's a frightening. That's a fanny pack group there. <laughs> Those are guys with the funky knees. Yeah. Weird knees. Fat knees. Fat knees, but yeah. showing them off like jowls big, in the big, knees. Big, yeah. uh, look big at my knees. Weird rubbery knees. And you're thinking, uh, knees on display. First off, we're inside. Where are you going in those shorts? You run and track me? Put some goddamn pants on. Put them away. Plus, if I had knees like that, I would not only be wearing long pants, but wearing knee pads. <laughs> Just in case something happened. You know, I'd be wearing Just like Tyler's knee, knee pads. I'd be wearing catcher shin guards yeah. with those things on. Uh -huh. Are you kidding? I look like well, one of the warriors is what I would look like. I can't believe you're wearing shorts with that. And, and it's that great. It's that fanny pack. It's the shorts. It's the sandals. What is it with uh, when you get a little bit older? You got to start sporting sandals and shorts everywhere, even though you never go outdoors. Because you don't give an ass. You don't care. Yes. Everyone can kiss your ass. Yeah. Is that what it is? That's what it is. You don't I care. like fanny packs. And in England, we call them bum bags because we don't call the derriere the fanny. Oh, you don't? No. We they call, call it the bum. We call the front bum the fanny. The front bum, the fanny. Oh, oh, okay. So the rear end is... Well, hold on. Is this a woman's the rear, front bum? Yeah. Only a woman? Yeah. Okay, so let me get this right. The rear end is the, the bum. bum. We know that. Mm -hmm. I'm and hip to that. the vulva is the fanny. The front end, the vagina is the, the vulva, fanny? Again, we, the vagina. Just call it the vagina, Drew. <laughs> We're not all med students here. <laughs> That's the fanny. Wow. Yeah. So uh, she's got like so like if you went like oh yeah I got a she got a, got a Volvo pack she got a leather fanny pack yeah. she, the person might hit you right like yeah. I think you're calling her vagina, vagina old pack. yeah <laughs> oh vagina pack would work too it's I'd so, wear that when you think about it I mean, like yeah it's about the same. you can put a little Velcro on the end so the nickels don't fall out right right all right you ready to go here we go fanny's right. the Michelle, front Michelle just got your joke Jerry yeah how you doing? oh that Michelle yeah <laughs> sorry what's happening Jerry. I've uh, been with this girl for about six months, and mm -hmm. mainly our sexual intercourse has been poor. Mm. You're 24? Yes. So your first girlfriend? Uh, no. And what do you mean I it's just, been poor? I've just been through a divorce, and this is my second. Okay. Are you from England, too? Uh, no. I'm a Latino. Oh, okay. All right. Always, always off. Yeah, it's shocking. All right, and, and you got divorced, and... Why do you mean it's been poor? Six, yeah, what do you mean? Excuse me? What do you mean it's been poor? What does that mean? Well, yeah, you know, my uh, my cinema is not so like before, you know. It's just all of a sudden, just one time and that's it. I can't really get erected again. Mm-hmm. Well, a lot of guys can't get it going again, but the idea is to kind of stretch it out a little. But if that's your time, that's your time. Do you give her oral sex? Uh, I give her everything. All right. Yeah, but focus on the oral sex. That I may be where you spend most of your time. <clears throat> do you like ranchero music? Uh, yes, I do. You oh. do? All right. And you, 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 you probably think you know a little something about it. Yeah, but I'll probably ruin the moment. No, I don't. Oh, well, yeah, no, don't play the ranchero. No, yeah, that, Adam that's, wants to challenge you. You don't play that when you're trying to get down. No. No, that, you play that when you're trying to you know, hit a pinata, not a chick. You, you know what I mean? Mariachi, mariachi band, yeah. Yeah, no, now hold on there, Jerry. Just hold on a second. Jerry has a cultural uh, step up on us. Well, so challenge him. All right, I'm gonna call him out, man. Oh, I think we're all we're all going in on this. Can't let us down. Jerry, you call yourself a Latino, right? I'm Mexican. That's right. Yeah, I was gonna say that, but I didn't want Michelle to get mad. Right. Oh. Uh, okay, all right. So you know the ranchero music, yes? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> you know your uh, way around an accordion, yes? A little yes. bit. A little bit. We're gonna play a little something called the uh, Aces uh, Mexican Music uh, Accordion Countdown. All right. Now, here's how the game is played. Uh, Engineeress uh, Michelle has the uh, ranchero music loaded up, and uh, we uh, estimate how long in a random song before we hear the accordion. All right, Jerry? All right. All right. I'm going seven seconds. No problem. I'm going. Oh, is it just you two? Yeah. Get no, go ahead, Marsha. Go ahead. Sorry. What, what do you got? Eight. I like eight. eight. You're going eight? Yeah. All right. You're going eight? 
Jerry, what do you got? Uh, ten seconds. Ten seconds. Right, and I've been shamed multiple times yeah. tonight, but I'll just throw my hat in the ring at three I kinda, seconds. I kind of repent that. I might want to say five seconds. The five, right. five, five seconds. seconds. Five I'm seconds. Going, I'm going three. All right, Drew's got three. Uh, the J-Man's got five. Ace has picked a seven, and the uh, Emster has uh, eight. All right. All right. Uh, hold on. Let me get. Let me. I gotta get the clock queued up here. Well, Otherwise, I can name that accord in. You ready? All right. All right. Three. Hold on. Two. One. Go. Mm. Oh, yeah. Seven. Seven seconds. Oh. Seven seconds. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Uh. Oh. Yeah! <laughs> you think you're so good. Dead nuts on seven seconds. Pow! Humbled. Humbled. Wow. Hey, well, you, you're from L.A., man. You're That's from... right, brother. That's right. I know Ranchero over here. I'm a, I'm a northern Mexican over here. Yeah, that's right. I don't need, no you excuses, know. Jerry. I may no be excuses. a gringo, but I know my Ranchero music, my friend. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. Yeah, bring it on. I'm just trying to see what's going on here with me and my... No, I, I understand. We're, we're I understand. You, the oral sex is where you need to spend your time a little bit. And uh, don't worry so much about how long you're lasting with the intercourse part. Yeah. Just you just to focus on her and what she needs, not your performance so much. Just uh, so try to respond to her specifically. Wow. We'll let me, uh, let me say this about the Ace Man and the Ranchero <clears throat> music. When I, I was looking at the clock... I even forgot I'm such an idiot because I went first that I did seven. I yeah. was I was writing everyone's stuff and I was yeah. staring at the clock. It went uh, seven, at 37, eight, went seven yeah. seconds, dead nuts yeah. on. And I shouted out and, you know, what there can I are. say about myself that has been said, you know, in regards to Ranchero music already? We could, well, we could wax on, but, but yeah. you heard that, Michelle? Get yes, turned on. Getting turned on. Getting turned on. Can't now. wait to get on the road. Where do we hit the road? Where do we hit the trail? <laughs> Buggering, Ranchero music's going to be huge. We'll take a uh, quick break. We'll be right back after this. Yeah. Well, our new favorite guest, Marsha Thomason. Woo! Fantabulous, baby. You are wonderful. Thanks. Am I a dear, dear friend now? Dear, 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 dear friend. Oh, okay. 13 or 14 dears in there. You're welcome back anytime, sweetie P. Vegas. Las Vegas. Name of the show, NBC, 9 o'clock, Monday nights. All right. I want to thank, who, Ziggy? Phone screener, Ziggy. For running out to Vegas to pick up the porn for you. He's on the road. He's listening on the radio. I want to thank uh, phone screener Brian for doing a fantabulous job. Of course, uh, the magic-fingered one, uh, Engineer Anderson. Whatever. I want to give a uh, special, special thanks to uh, our engineer out here, Michelle, who brought in the uh, Tejano music and the Ranchero stuff, who laughs at all my jokes. Never seen it. Nine years have been here. Never seen so much as a smile from anyone who worked here. I know. It's disorienting, isn't it? I couldn't. I can't, can't focus. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, baby. That's right. You're getting a raise. All right. Uh, and I want to thank uh, Junior, 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 producer Lauren for doing a great job. And, of course, uh, senior producer Ann. And until next time, this is Adam Crawler for Dr. Drew saying mahalo. <laughs> this has been Loveline. Loveline. The opinions expressed on this show are not necessarily those of the staff, management, sponsors, or this station. Or the station. The producer for Loveline is Annie Gold. Loveline is a presentation of Westwood One Entertainment.